Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching me, please hit that subscribe button so we can learn together and grow together, which is what this channel is all about. Let's jump right into today's video. I want to talk about this experience I am continuing to have, which is every time I tell someone where I live or they see what kind of car I drive, I always get looks of judgment. For example, there's this guy that I know that works at a dealer who looked at my car and kind of teased me on it. I drive a really tiny little car that almost looks like a smart car. And he said, whenever you're ready to buy a real car, let me know. And I replied with, well, I'm not a materialistic person and my car is going to do the same thing a BMW or a Bentley or some sort of fancy car uh is gonna do the same thing that i need my car to do like it's gonna take me to work where i'm able to provide where i'm able to make money to provide for myself or when i tell someone where i live like i tell them i live in a small studio apartment and they give me these like looks of like oh that's cute girl but yet i say that with pride and 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 it makes me extremely happy that I'm able to say, like, I've created a space where I feel safe, where it's my safe haven, where I can come home, kick my shoes off and clean within minutes and, and sit in my couch and enjoy a fresh cup of coffee while watching my favorite show on Netflix or what have you, you know? And, um, you know, and, and, and keep in mind, guys, I was raised by a single dad and I am one of seven siblings and we come from nothing like, you know, during the summertime, since we were depending on one income, my dad uh, couldn't afford to pay the gas bill and we went a month, uh, you know, using the, the electric stove to boil water so we can take a shower. Or I remember there would be days where we didn't have electricity and my and my dad lit up some candles and so the experience wouldn't be too bad. He would gather all of us up and and share stories, like share stories of his life or stories about Mexico to kind of take a, our minds away from the fact that we didn't have electricity. And it worked because those memories are, are one of the best memories for me, actually. Like, I really enjoyed my dad's stories and they brought so much comfort. And, you know, you would think that I would grow up feeling like I'm gonna work so hard so, so I can make sure that I have everything. So I can have a brand new outfit every day and so I can have the best shoes or the best purses or or buy a big home or a fancy car. But no, I, I grew up I grew up feeling like what was important was the memories that I that that I would create with my family or my friends or or making sure that I would meet people of substance so I so they can have an influence on me for the better so I can or, or, or reading books that were going to develop my mind so I can have a, a, a better way of thinking or or so I can provide um, a conversation of substance with other people or you know just those were the things that I hold dear to me those are the things that I feel like think that are things of actual value you know um, you know, we're nowadays, we're so used to looking at Instagram or looking at other like social media outlets and, and seeing how people have really fancy cars or really big houses and just seeing their highlight reel. But re keep in mind that that's just someone's highlight. They're not, they're not really showing or being extremely vulnerable and, and by showing like, you know, when they're depressed or or when they're struggling because that really huge house is actually doesn't represent what their bank account looks like because they're living outside of their means. And, um, and, and just keep in mind that you move at your own pace. 
And like, for example, I'm going to be 33 years old in April. And I hear so much like, you know, you're in your 30s. You should already own a house. You should already have like um, a career or they expect you to have some sort of uh, lifestyle or have it all together. And in reality, we can never have it all together, man. We're, we're all just here having a human experience. And, and as long as you're moving at your own pace and as long as you're moving, period, you're already winning, man. Like, I don't, I don't feel any kind of pressure on having to own a house, you know, like to me, my family has never owned a house and, but I know what a home is. A home is a, is a space that you create uh, for yourself that makes, that brings you safety, that, that brings you joy, that you can create memories in. Like I wake up every day and I look at my square that I've created for myself and I feel so incredibly grateful to be able to, to, to have a place where I can lay my head in, you know? And those are the, like, those memories and, and, and those things that I'm able to provide for myself are, are what really, really mean something to me. Um, a Birkin bag or red bottoms or, or something fancy, it's only going, that's only a, a temporary thing. Your memories are forever. And, um, that that is just the message that i um i want to share is that we all own material things but don't let material things own you life is more than a red bottom life is more than a birkin bag life is more than a fancy car or a huge house it's the memories that you create and the knowledge that you gain throughout life that matters, in my opinion. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys like today's little rant. Thank you so much for always taking the time to listen to me. And please hit that like button. It is a free and kind way that you can help me out with this YouTube algorithm. And write down in the comments if you've ever like felt kind of weak and ended up making a purchase that, you know, you made to impress other people and it ended up biting you in the ass <laughs> or or just write down what you think about this video thank you so much guys i hope you guys are having an amazing week take care of yourselves love you bye